Hey everybody, it is Roche Ball and I am back. Happy almost Friday, but it's Thursday. Get it? It wasn't a joke, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that I picked up from CVS. I was drinking a Herbert strawberry lemonade, but that is too tart. It's way too tart. And I'm happy to finally be drinking a lemonade that actually tastes like real freshly squeezed lemons. Thank you, Herbert's makers, for that. Anyway, um... First thing I picked up when I first got there is I did get this because I am going to use it. The last perm I did have was in February, towards the beginning, the end of January, beginning of February. I do still wear perms, but I kind of spread them out. I don't do every month anymore. That's why I was completely bald headed. Um, but I try to do like in February, March, April, May, you know, I could afford to let June pass by and do this perm in July, but I'm going to do it like probably Friday. Maybe tomorrow sometime. But I did get an Africa's Best Perm Kit Box Relaxer. Um, I got this, which I will be showing you guys a couple of swatches with this. Um, remember I was telling you guys last time when I got this? This one right here. And this is the dark one. The dark palette right here. It's still the LA Pro Artistry um, eyeshadow palette. And I got the LA Pro Artistry. This one says Mastery. This one says Artistry. This one says Mastery. But it's still the Pro Eyeshadow Palette from LA Girl. So I will be giving you guys swatches when it comes to this. Just, a, just as I did with this one. And I'm glad I got this because I need light colors for the, the, those um, daytime. And I guess this could be for nighttime. Because this is very, very, what do you call it when it's like very, <clears throat> I don't know what you call it. Like, um like daytime makeup to nighttime makeup so if i'm if i'm going to like a wedding or something or if i'm going to like um of course when the quarantine is over if i'm going to somewhere like a family gathering i can wear a little something that's suitable for the daytime or and then it's nighttime if i'm going to like a party or a club or something or some kind of get together with the girls or whatever i can just wear something like this or to a show or something i don't know um but knowing me i will wear this in the daytime and wear this at night that's just how i am you know i don't really care about daytime versus nighttime makeup and what you're supposed to be wearing I, i'm not really like that so but yeah i picked up this one as i said i was gonna do and they had another one that i'm like but let me stop but i do want to build up and um my eyeshadow uh library so that way i can buy a little bookshelf for all the eyeshadows and people gonna think they books i'm like go ahead and read their eyeshadows you know so and i won't be surprised if they do have a book like this, say like, like oh, I wonder what book this is. And when you open it up, it's a bunch of eyeshadows. You see what I'm saying? This is my Bible though, but, but yeah. So um, <laughs> and it's getting dusty, which is all bad. That means I need to be reading it. Um, but yes, I'm not really like that when it comes to wear this at night, wear this in the daytime. I'm like no. And as you can see, just like this one, it has the name of all the eyeshadow. And then this one has also the name of all, every eyeshadow. Now, I'm not going to do all the swatches in one video. I'm probably going to make this a separate video when I do the swatches. Because um, I do want to kind of take care of um, all of them. I want to try to do all of them, you know. Um, so, yeah. And I've always wanted an eyeshadow palette that has the name of every eyeshadow in it. Like, when I look at Jeffree Star's videos, he has the names of every eyeshadow. You know, that, the, the you know, like... They have one on here that's called Aces, another one called Proper, Expert, um, Exficionado, Boss, Skills, Profesh, Profish, or something like that. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get into doing swatches when it comes to this eyeshadow palette right here. So stay tuned for that, but that will be another video. I'm only showing you guys what I picked up from CVS while I was out. I also... For those of you, I've been saying it in the last couple of videos that I always, I'm trying to switch over to more natural soaps. Um, so I do still have Dial and Iris, no, Iris Spring, a couple bars of that. But that's only going to be used for hard, 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 hard times. You know, I doubt if, um, what the heck is that? I doubt if they will be uh, getting rid of soaps like this. But I did give me a Shea Moisture, Cannabis Sativa, Hemp Seed Oil with Aloe and Chamomile. It's a calm and comfort bar soap. So I didn't want to leave CVS until I grabbed one of these. I don't really smell it, but I'm going to open it just a little bit so I can smell it. Not to mention my mom and my sister, they did pack um, 
in my um you guys seen the video of when i posted um my gift like it's like a little goodie box that they gave me and it had a couple bars of soap in that i gotta try that too what i really want to do is buy a nice glass container something that's a little bit bigger than this you know a little, a little bit bigger you know what i mean so that way i can put all those naked bars of soap in there and i can set it in my bathroom like that when i move that's what i really want to do so i'm collecting i'm getting as much as soaps like this as i can I was trying to get the black one like this, but they they ran out, and they just had the liquid one. But I don't know about that. Sometimes it's like I like to take a break from body washes, and just use soap. Cause I don't know why that smeary feel that I get. It's like oh, I gotta get in the shower and wipe my butt again or something. I don't like it. So I'm taking a break from body washes right now. Oh yeah. Oh, this smells good, and it has little dots on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has little dots on it. I like that. That means this is some good stuff. So as you know, I am, ooh, when I was little, I bit into a bar of Dove when I was little. I almost bit into this one, honestly, just being honest. So yeah, this is what I picked up, just the bars of soap. As far as lotions and the body washes and the hair stuff, masks and puddings that goes with the Shea Moisture Collection, I'm going to get that later. I got to kind of ease in to stuff like that because my skin is sensitive. And I want to make sure I'm using something that's not going to break my skin out and have skin peeling, you know, that gross stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. Um, lastly, I'm putting this stuff back in the bag as I go. And lastly, I got some more gel because I got some more of this gel right here, which is the first Eco Styler that I was using until they came out with the green one. And I started using the green one. But I decided to get this one because it was only $3.99 and the green one was $4.99. So I decided to get this one. You know, I was going to get some black jam or the um, jam on it or whatever it's called. But I decided to stick with this because some, some gels make my hair stink. But since I've been using this, I don't get that stinky hair feeling, you know. So the regular original Eco Styler. I don't know why for some reason that it gives me the elute, like some kind of, like when I smell the Eco Styler sometimes, it kind of has a cologne smell. I don't know if you guys ever just, yeah, it smells so good. And I hope nobody been digging it in already. Look at that dent. Look at that. Or shoot, it must be that. But I'm about to say, because if I hope nobody been digging in this, let me do my hair right quick. And then put it back and then put it on the shelf. I won't be surprised if they do do stuff like that. And this is not even the tester, but still, you know. Um, I think if anybody asks anybody the tester, it should be free. All them hands digging in it. But why would you want to buy a tester anyway? But anyway, so yeah, that's all I bought. Um, because the beauty supply place that I usually always go to out here is still closed. So um, what I really want to do is walk down there and see, because I, I don't know if I want to braid my hair again, put that perm in, do ponytails, take a break from wigs and twisties for a while and just wear my hair out. I don't know what I want to do, but until then, I'm going to kind of carry these, um, I mean, wear these for a little bit longer. They're slipping out, as you guys can see. Let me show you. In the back, look, like right here. And I just put these in last Thursday and already my hair is sticking out. I don't know if you guys can see that. My hair is sticking out. You see that? That's my hair. And then it just looks real raggedy back here because it slips out. So, um, and I'm not relaxed at all. Um, uh, cause the last time I did was in February. So, but yeah, the beauty supply place is closed. I go to Wild Beauty Supply out here in the Valley and it's closed. So, um, I had to just pick up gel whenever I got it. I don't feel, I don't feel like ordering any from Amazon.com and waiting for that. If I want gel right now, I, got, I can go always go to CVS. But, um, I'm gonna start buying the bigger buckets cause in my whole entire life, I think I've only bought the big bucket of the green Eco Styler gel twice. And I'm going to start buying that. And then if I get extra money, I'm going to start buying some more of that. So that way, if something happens to where things are discontinued or it's closed, I'm going to I'm gonna be set with what I have. And I'm going to buy the big bucket like this one, too. I don't like the Moroccan Argon Oil one with the red top. I don't like the one that's with the coconut oil with the brown top. And I don't like the flaxseed one with the black top because they don't really mold your hair. The only time I would feel that your hair will really be slick is like if you just relax it, then you can use stuff like that. Like the um the one with the eco styler with the brown top and the, the flaxseed one and all that. But if your hair is kind of coarse and you know, like mine, and if you don't, you know, you happen to have a relaxer for a while. And your hair is really wool and coarse or whatever. 
that's not going to lay it down. It's going to curl it and it's going to moisturize it, but it's not going to lay it down and give you the slickage that you need. I need some tall slickery going on in my life. I can't handle just, oh, it looks slick. And then when I go out later on in the day, a couple hours, it looks like I have an afro and a ponytail. You know what I mean? Because it, it just went like this because, you know, unless, unless you want to go for a kind of a braid out gel out look to where you just keep your hair all out and just put gel on it and then just put something around it and then go that's fine but that's not what I want a lot of times when I don't have braids or twisties in my hair or wear wigs I like to slick my hair in a ponytail hence that's why most of my edges are gone and because I cut it because a lot of times let's talk about this for a moment let's get real on my channel okay I'm not afraid you guys are family so let me just let you guys know the reason why I barely have any edges, because when I was little, I was always prone to cutting my hair. Yes, I used to cut my hair. I was that child. And I didn't like the way it feel when my perm was wearing off, so I would cut whatever little beady beads I made, especially if I couldn't untangle it and slick it back. And I was always doing things to my hair and twirling it around and taking it apart. And I was always cutting everything. And plus, that's one. And when it came to my braids, ponytail, 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 ponytail. And my hair, as you can see, is supposed to start right there. It's supposed to start right there. You see what I'm saying? Or at least right here to leave some baby hair out. But as you can see, you know, it starts where it starts, okay? And it has grown back a little bit. I just have to be consistent with the um, Jamaican black castor oil, the mango and lime one, because... I'm really not consistent with that. When I feel like I have to use something daily, but then I found out on a YouTube channel, one lady said, just use it a couple times a week. Something, okay, let me go ahead and do that. I, I'll be more consistent when I don't have to do things every single day for some strange reason. Um, I have been taking my calcium pills every day, but I haven't really been taking like care of my hair like I should every day. Like I don't leave hairdos like this in for more than a week. For some reason, I have to experiment doing my hair, but I'm going to force myself to leave these in probably for another week. And I'm just going to redo them and just take care of the edges or whatever. The only thing that lays my edges down when I don't have a perm is the got to be glued black one. The yellow one curls it back up for me. Because I think that one is mainly supposed to be a glue for wigs. The black one is more of like a styling gel type thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. But I think these twisties look good enough to keep a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I'm looking in the mirror in case you guys want to know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. My light is need to be charged. Because it's looking kind of dull right now. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please stay tuned for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos I just posted with my shoes. And me talking crazy in the bathroom. I don't know what that was about. I must have been drunk or something. I don't know. But anyway, please stay tuned for more. Thank you to all my subscribers. Even to the new people who just subscribed. All 31 of my beautiful subscribers. Thank you so much. And even those who view my channel on a regular basis. I, I appreciate you guys too. Um, what's taking you so long to subscribe? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but thank you guys so much. I gotta get out of here. I'm a little hungry. Even though I had a big Subway salad for lunch. I shouldn't really be hungry, but I might give me some more peach jello. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more. Bye.